coach scoreless coming out of the first period and second period, they get a goal kind of on the first shift and then the penalty after that kind of, what did you see in the way the game turned in that deciding period? That's what I saw. I saw them come out. Uh, we made a play right around the top of the circle in their end. That was a mistake. Turned into a two on one. We didn't play the two on one properly. It ends up in our net. When you do that against the top team and the top line, like, like those guys have, um, now you're down one, nothing. And, you know, I, as you said, I thought the first period was totally fine for us to go and, and then take a penalty right in the next shift. That's been the first half of our season. Uh, it's very difficult to teach game management and to, um, enforce it, I think. Um, and that was a, a really poor penalty at a poor time. We needed to get through the next five minutes, the next six minutes, um, uh, and, and obviously we didn't. And then I think it was their third goal, was it, that was off the off the boards. I mean, the, the bounces they get in this rink, they earn, and the bounces we don't get, we we don't earn. Um, I know that's a simple statement and, 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 and maybe a ridiculous one, but those are the facts. You know, we uh, uh, everything was fine, and then it's 3 nothing, and we haven't even played three minutes in the second period yet. Um, so th th then it was a difficult, uh, it was a difficult thing. They're a really good team. They come at you. Um, they, they come at you with everybody and they come at you all over the ice and, and uh, we handle it poorly in that second period. You mentioned the kind of strange bounce on that goal at three zero. You call timeout after, what do you say to your team at that point to try and just kind of stem the momentum after a play like that? Honestly, Tim, it, where, where, where we are as a program I want the players to be talking in that time. And, and that's not what happened. I'm not blaming them. It was my idea to call the timeout and ours as coaches. And um, it's on us to, 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 to steady the ship, but they are, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're 21, 20 year old boys that are, are um, struggling mentally with, with what has just gone on in the last four minutes or three minutes. I was hoping to get to the first TV timeout and not have to use the timeout. Uh, and, and we could settle in then, but that that obviously wasn't happening. Um, what we were trying to do is right the ship and, and, and just say, get get back to playing. Uh, we played from behind most of the year. Why not just go back to playing? And we didn't. We stopped playing. Uh, and then you talk about playing hard, and then we had another dumb penalty. It ends up in our net. And, and just the, the momentum, we couldn't stop it. And there was nothing we, we – we didn't try a bunch of different things to stop it. It was just very, very difficult to stop it. And, and it showed with, a, with with six goals being given up in that one period. Back in the first period, I thought was probably one of your better road periods. You had a couple power plays. The first one didn't get a lot going on. The second one, maybe 80 seconds or so, all in their zone, even though you weren't able to convert. What positives did you see in that stretch that you can hopefully take into tomorrow? Well, first and foremost, Tim, I, I thought we – I, I agree with you. I thought we played a pretty good period. I didn't like the first power play at all. We got through the first five minutes. I think we got through the first 10, killed a penalty, um, which isn't easy. We've been in this building before where maybe there's not much going on in there and power play gets them going, but we killed that off. We needed our power play to go out there with uh, a, a mentality that we're going out here to score. We just got through the penalty kill. Now we're going to take advantage of our power play. And we didn't. It was a really poor first power play. I agree with you. The second one was much, much better. Didn't end up in the net, unfortunately, but much better. Um, it felt like we had more than six shots during that period. And, and, uh, and, and you know, a, a puck bounces in, you know, who knows? But again, we, I, I, I can specifically remember this. We're walking out to the ice for the second period. And I heard somebody in our locker room say, this team's really good in the second period. And they come out hard. Let's be ready. And not 30 seconds later, they scored. Corona with a shutout tonight, about 20 shots for you. What do you need to do to be able to get a few past them tomorrow? Well, we need to get more than 20. 20, 20 shots on that's not even close to enough, so that's the first thing. Um, I thought that he played well, uh, in, in my opinion. I, I don't know if he was crazy tested, but the times he was tested, he he was there and and, uh, and was up to the challenge. Um, we just we just overall, Tim, need to play better. Um we can't let something bad happening turn into five or six bad things happening. And all of a sudden now the game's out of reach. 
we've been in this position before in terms of having to respond and hopefully we can do it again.